Do I think Tottenham will get in the top four? Yes, I do this year. 정말 특이한 일입니다. 무패 행진이 무산됐다며 비난이 쏟아질 줄 알았는데 토트넘을 향한 찬사와 격려는 여전하기 때문입니다. 특히 경기 자체가 재밌었다는 평가가 많은데요. 토트넘과 첼시의 경기는 데일리메일이 선정한 피엘의 미친 경기 상위 10경기 중두 번째에 랭크됐으며 영국 현지에서 계속 회자되고 있습니다. 일례로 영국 스카이스포츠에서 축구 전문가로 활동하는 리버풀의 전설 제이미 캐러거는 자신이 40년 가까이 축구를 봤지만 팬 입장에서 이렇게 재밌는 경기는 처음이었다고 평가했고요. 맨체스터 유나이티드의 전설 게리 네빌도 같은 반응을 보였습니다. 특히 지난 시즌 손흥민 선수를 향해 다리가 완전히 사라진 것 같다며 악평을 쏟아냈던 그는 스트라이커로서 놀라운 모습을 보여준 손흥민 끝났다고 생각했는데 내가 잘못 봤다라는 평가까지 덧붙였죠. 그러나 혼란의 경기였던 건 사실이었습니다. 두팀 도합 다섯 골이 터진 가운데 득점 취소가 다섯 번이나 나왔고 두 명이나 퇴장을 당했으니까요. 오늘은 영국 토크스포츠에 출연한 크리스탈 팰리스 전 구단주 사이먼 조던의 코멘트와 함께 영국 현지의 토트넘 그리고 첼시 팬의 의견을 들어보겠습니다. Idea. A match like that was about to unfold. Five goals, five disallowed goals, two red cards. Uh, Chelsea end Tottenham's unbeaten start, a 4-1 win in the end. You ever seen a crazier game? No, I've never seen a probably greater acts of self-harm. Uh, as Tottenham visited upon themselves, yeah. from having complete control of the game to, for whatever reason, seeming to cede it back to, to Chelsea, give them their head, and then proceed to lose their minds. And I do think that some of the things that Ange Postecoglou said after the game were admirable. I, I'm not entirely sure. What he's doing is very clever. He is, like I've said before, previously, he is the light to everyone else's dark. Specifically in the age of Conte, where ultimately Spurs would have banked up with 11 players, let alone nine. Um, and he won't do that. And he won't make that position because he knows it, 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 it curries a certain particular reaction from the Tottenham fan base. Play the way I want to. And I know he made his observations about if he went down to five, mate, would have a crack. Yeah, I love that. Um, I, I love I, that. I, I do and I don't. I think it's playing to a certain gallery. But most of what comes out of Ange Postacoglu's mouth, I'm an admirer of. Other than Ange believes what he says. This is how I play. This is how I want the game to be played by my team, which was one Celtic and is now Tottenham. This is how I want my boys to play. And it's as simple as that. And it's a principle that he, you know, at this moment in time, is able to stick to because yeah. he's come off the back of 11 games or however many it was before, 10 games before this, unbeaten. Yeah. They've gotten beaten yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Now, it's entirely explainable. What's not explainable is the combustibility of certain players on the pitch and the occasion which Tottenham had control of suddenly being wrestled away from them and some ridiculousness on the pitch from certain players. And, of course, you've then got the, ad the added spice yeah. of Madison being injured. You've got the other centre back being injured. I, I think that I it, I'm inclined to agree with you that most of what Ange Postecoglou says he believes in. Mm. But there is always, even if you're Alex Ferguson at the top of your game, there is always an element of pragmatism. At times, we can all be idealists. We can all say this is what I'm going to do. But when it comes down to it, you're an observer. And uh, many people, certainly in this building, thought that even losing 4-1, the Tottenham outlook was much better than the Chelsea outlook. The Tottenham performance was much more absorbing and believable and yeah. plausible yeah. than I mean, the Chelsea one. Yes, but you've got to, you've got to give it context. Uh, Chelsea are a side that's not full of confidence at this moment in time for whatever reason, whereas Tottenham, on the, on the opposite side of that, they've got this Ange Postacoglu effect, which is basically, he's not Conte. He's not Mourinho. He's not dark. He's not prepared to play a brand of football which is unappealing. In the end, he's going to have to play a brand of football that becomes a consistent winning football formula because the honeymoon, and we'll get in the top four, yes, I do this year because of the points tally they've got so far. And you they think should... Tottenham will be top four? Well, I do, yeah. I think if you've got 26 points, 11 games into a season and you require 71 to get into a Champions League spot, which is atypically the, the rule of thumb, you'd have, to, you'd have to be really poor for significant parts of the season not to pick up the points yeah. that you need. Yeah. So I think they've given themselves a good opportunity and how they bounce back from the defeat on, on yesterday will be easy because they'll look at the circumstances. They'll say that we, we lost our centre-back, we lost another centre-back, we lost our creative midfield player, we lost another player getting sent off. Uh, so we had all the disadvantage against ourselves. There's a part of me that always wants to, the best form of defence is attack. Yeah. 
But in football terms, that probably, in the end, is not going to pay you off. Specifically, if you're going into a situation where you've got nine players and you are uh, t- territorially disadvantaged by the way that you play. To some extent, a cynical view for me about playing to the gallery because we're going to go on our shields. We will not stop. This is the way that we're going to play. And the Tottenham fans will lap it up until they don't, which means <laughs> when they start, when they, when they go at the end yeah. of the season, they go, well, yeah. we didn't win. And I've said it before, it's perfect yeah. because the club was so dark. Everybody hated Levy. The players were all bone idle, lazy, you know, unmotivated, uncommitted, not, not programmed for winning. Everything about the club was rubbish as far as Conti and those in the certain sections of the media would have us believe. Mm. So Ange comes in and polishes it up a little bit and polishes it up a lot of leagues. This is the Premier League. Yes. And it's an unforgiving league. And what you did for me yesterday is no good for me today. And I do admire 95% of what comes out of his mouth. And I do think that he's the right person for Tottenham Hotspur in the here and now. And I do think probably if he keeps on pro- progressing and gets better players to be able to get more depth in his squad and be able to change things up, that they might win something. I'm absolutely thrilled with the performance last night. I mean, you know, to be... Everyone's saying we capitulated, but we didn't. Two players capitulated and the rest of the team stayed solid and pulled out the tactics that Ange put in place. Until the 94th minute, we were in that game. We had three chances to take it, to take it level and maybe even go and win the game. I agree with Simon, however, that you know, doing this against City would have been unfeasible. But Chelsea were there for the taking. They were absolutely terrible. And we had the chance to go and get something from this game, even with only nine men. And I'm thrilled. Compared to what we were asking for under Conte, under Mourinho, when we faced adversity, when we were down 1-0, when a man got sent off, this is what we wanted from a new manager and this is what we've got. I was absolutely fr- Definitely refreshing, not naive. No, no. I mean, it, you know, it almost worked. We had a disallowed goal, disallowed by margins. Benton Kerr, who would have been fitter if he'd had a bit more match time, would have put it away. Son with a better strike would have put us equal. We could have won that game. It was there for the take. So, um, Thanks, mate. No, I, going back to the previous caller, I, I do agree with what he said. I think Tottenham played in the first 15 minutes. They're absolutely, you know, superb. They put us to the sword and they cut through us. Um, and then I think there was it in dog, he had a lapse of judgment and then we kind of picked it up from there. But I think the first half was a bit of a mess with all the disallowed goals and the offsides and the red cards uh, and everything like that. But I think, I think we could have done a bit better. I, there was a lack of judgment with the passing. I think we were sloppy. We were trying to rush it. Um, Tottenham were playing a high line. It was the same ball over the top that caught us offside about 15 times. Mm. Um, Jackson. 토트넘은 이번 시즌 리그 4위 내에 들 것이며 우승마저도 노릴 수 있을 것이라는 사이먼 조던의 코멘트와 졌지만 멋진 게임이었다는 토트넘 팬 상대팀이었지만 투지가 대단했다고 말하는 첼시 팬의 반응까지 전해드렸습니다. 여러분의 생각은 어떠신가요? 항상 함께해주시는 구독자 여러분께 감사드리며 오늘 영상 여기서 인사드리겠습니다.